Seeing is believing, so here's an encore. The gyrocopter was invented in the 1920s by this guy, a Spaniard named Juan de la Sierva. Years before, he had designed and built Spain's first airplane. In 1919, one of his planes crashed for flying too slowly and too close to the ground. So, Sierva resolved to create a flying machine that could move slowly and steadily through the air without crashing. He called it the Autogyro. It works like a helicopter, but its rotor is powered by the air, not by a motor. The first Autogyro took flight in 1923. In 1925, it was demonstrated to both King Alfonso of Spain and the British Air Ministry. The British government liked it so much, they bought two. In 1928, American inventor Harold Frederick Pitcairn bought one of Sierra's autogyros. The next year, Pitcairn licensed the technology and patents from Sierra and began building his own autogyros in America. That's him flying one over Washington, D.C. In 1930, President Hoover awarded Pitcairn the Collier Trophy for his great achievements in aviation. The autogyro was eventually used by the U.S. military. An improved self-catapulting autogyro warms up to show military experts what it can do. And came to pop culture prominence in the 1967 James Bond movie, You Only Live Twice. Somewhat less dramatically, in 2015, a postal worker flew one onto the Capitol lawn and was promptly arrested. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.